Hey, what's up guys? Coach Austin here with Coach Emily and today we're going over the 45 degree hip extension, mainly focusing on glutes. So if Emily goes ahead and sets up here, the first thing that I want to highlight here is going to be her foot position. So a common mistake that I see people make is actually externally, externally rotating their feet too much, putting more emphasis on their external rotators, that glute medius, and things that actually externally rotate at the hip. Instead of the glute max, which we need to have our feet more straightforward and not externally rotated. Another thing is going to be the position of this pad being up below that hip crease where you're actually going to want to fold into hip flexion. Okay, so once those two things are in place, another couple things that we need to keep in mind here at the beginning is neutral spine, so tuck that chin, and then a nice compressed abdomen here. Okay, so as if we're in that position, we're going to start the descend and actually thinking about driving and lengthening here at the hip, at the glute, okay? And Emily can, if she contracts her quads at the front, can she get any lower? A Little bit more lengthened, okay? So as we're coming back here, she's gonna have a slight pinch in her glutes and actually thinking about driving those glutes down, okay? So we're not rounding, as you can see, we're not rounding at the upper back. All that range of motion is coming from her glutes, okay? So if she comes back down and she's lengthening, 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 okay? Good, everything's nice, abs are compressed, chin's tucked, and then she's thinking about actually driving her glutes down, okay? You can see that Emily has a slight round in her upper back, and that is actually okay, because the spine isn't actually loaded here. It's okay that your spine is naturally kind of rounded, because that cue in itself can help you actually not hyperextend and starts around at the lower back. So a couple common mistakes in this movement, one being that foot position, being too externally rotated with your feet, um, slightly is okay, but too much is not what we're looking for. So again, we covered that in the beginning of the video, so if you missed that part, go ahead and return back to that. Another thing is going to be the hyperextension at the low back, making this more of a low back hyperextension, which again is a common movement that I think in a lot of our younger years we, we do, and so that kind of starts to ruin this movement for us. So one way we can really counteract that is to actually think about compressing our abs and actually kind of using that rectus abdominis to crunch and pull that pelvis up and give ourselves a nice opposing force on the other side. So that is a good way to do that. So if Emily goes just through one more good rep for me, going down, again, she's not rounding at the back to even gain more length, but she's actually thinking about flexion at the hip, okay? And then she's thinking about extending at the hip, driving those glutes down and not using that low back.